Hi, I'm Fletch. Hi, I'm Max. And today we're taking Hendy's new Land Rover Defender around Bournemouth. So my friend, should we have a little mooch about, see what's in the glove box? I bet there's a little treat for you in there. Little treat, let's see. Oh, look at a this. A few questions. What was your first car? What was your first car? Can you remember that far back? I mean, obviously, yeah. you remembering back is a bit different to me. <laughs> You've only got a few, a few years. years. I've got about 30 years, but... A few years. Yeah, my first car was a Vauxhall Corsa. A Vauxhall Corsa. Mm. Well, you are quite small in height. <laughs> not, in, not in stature. You're big and strong in stature. So it's probably the perfect car for you. Seeing Cheers, that, Fletch. Mine was, Cheers. A, mine was a Ford Escort, so you're a little bit above me, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you usually arrive early or late when you drive to your destination? I can answer that one. I mean, they don't call you Max. Last minute. Doc. <laughs> Last minute. Dot com. Aaron's for nothing. I was going to answer that by saying I'm literally usually a bang on time type of person, but when you that, say bang that, on time, that puts you on the late. That puts you in the late category, doesn't it? When you say bang on time, I mean I look at the register every morning, and along with other people, aka Mr. Phil Billing. <laughs> And yourself. Dango, Dango maybe. Dango, Tav. Ryan Fredericks, Tavin. Tav, you're all like 9.15 you've got to be in. And I've never seen you anything more than 9.14. 14, yeah. What do you do? Get here early, wait in your car, yeah. and then... <laughs> no, no, I feel like I pull up bang on, like, bang on time. Right, the only thing with that is... It's what risky. If, what, if, what if there's traffic? What if there's problems? And I have faced that, and I've been late on a few of the odd occasion. What do you get fined for from the manager? <laughs> yeah, we get fined, yeah. Do you not feel like maybe leave earlier. Do you reckon? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, I no? probably should, to be honest. So we've got a nice day today, Max. Couldn't yep. be better to drive around. Yeah. In this Land, Land Rover Defender. Yeah. Nice car. Yeah, lovely. Driving down to the pool area now. Sandbanks, one of the reasons I came down to Bournemouth in the first place, really. Yeah. Even before signing here, I knew about... Did you know about the area? The area. So, yeah, I've had a lot of people say to, to me in the past, for me coming down to Bournemouth all those years ago, 31 years ago, I mean, this is yeah, what we see now in front of us, was one of the main attractions for me. Yeah. Obviously, the lure of first team football being one of the main players for the, my manager back then, Tony Pulis, that was the lure of coming to Bournemouth, the area. Is, yeah. that, is that something that, like I say, we, was on your mind when you come down? Obviously, main thing, football, Premier League, totally different, mm. but the area? 100%, I think, you know, um, as a player, when you're, when you're signing somewhere or looking to go somewhere, there's a few things that obviously come into that. And, and the main one is obviously football and footballing reasons. And then aside from that, if you get the benefit of coming to somewhere as beautiful as it is here, um, the people here are so nice as well. And those are two things that I'd heard before signing here. Um, so I knew already, you know, what to expect of it as a place and then coming here. And especially the day I signed was like a day like this as well, when you, you yeah, know, it just help. it's amazing. You're planning a month-long road trip. Where would you go? So that's in a car. Say, we, say you were in the driver's seat now. Mm. Where would you go? You're planning a month-long road trip. You're in this car. Where would you go? I think I would take it. I would think I would drive the car um, down along like the south of France. Really? Yeah. You know they drive on the other side of the road. Are you comfortable with that? I'm not. I've never done it before. Never. So I'd be risking it. Yeah, but. I think that would be uh, something that I've always wanted to do, actually, as well. I mean, it's a really beautiful nice. area. Obviously, you've got beautiful area. Some incredible areas. You've got Monaco there. Yeah. But yeah, I think Marseille, that would be... you've got Nice. Mm. Um, you know, for I've always fancied doing the Route 66 in America, across America. That would be. Yeah. And stopping off at little places and but yeah. listen, south of France for the scenic route. Listen, in Eng if we're going in England, what about in England? Well. I think you're in a great uh, place to be honest, to I was going to say, what better place have you got than than here? I think if you went west rather than east, if you go east, you're going towards, back towards your neck of the woods, <laughs> yeah, London. Yeah. So if you, but if you went west, you could go all along the Jurassic Coast, yeah. Dorset, yeah. Somerset, yeah. Devon, Cornwall. Yeah. If, you, if you're in the UK, there would, would be nowhere else I would want to want to drive through than, than around here, especially well, when you've got... I think that's our version of maybe the south of France, isn't 100%. it? 100%. And you can stop off, stop off at some lovely, lovely places along the way. I've never done it myself, and it's something I, I wish I'd done. Maybe yeah. I will. Maybe I will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say when I get a bit older, <laughs> can't get much older. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't say you're already there, Fletch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what car do you drive now? Hmm. 
I drive exactly this Fletch, the uh, the Land Rover Defender. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that in the in the summer, so it's really nice. What we got next, Max? How many times did it take you to pass your driving test? Just before we start, I was 12 lessons past first time. Thank you very much. Yeah, it must have been different back then, Fletcher. You can't do 12, <laughs> you can't have done 12 lessons these days. I did have a little practice with time. my parents, I had a little practice with my father. Um, right. Yourself? Yeah. I You're was trying a, to avoid the question here, no, I was a, I was third time. Third time! Third time. What did were you, you doing? Do did you have to do were a theory asleep? back then? Yeah, we did a theory, we did everything. Right. Yeah, Maybe I'll, not on like a theory it is now, we just had a few questions at the end of the driving test. Is that the bit you struggle with, the theory? That's the easiest the part. Well. I struggled on the theory That's as the well. easiest part. Before we look at this, mate. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is what it's look about. Wow. I mean, this, wow. it doesn't get any better. I do not get bored no, that, of coming down this road, that is right amazing. to Sandbanks, and you have, you know, Sandbanks right in front of you, the whole shebang. That is amazing. Obviously round to Pool Harbour. Oh, that's amazing. I think it's the second biggest natural harbour in the world. There's a bit really? of education for you. It's Creme de la creme of the south coast for 90%. It's amazing. So third time. Third time, yeah. What, um, what did you fail on? So I failed on, they told me to pull to the side of the road. Um, and then basically I pulled off to go and rejoin the road that I was on. And I didn't indicate. <laughs> and I kind of basically pulled out on someone. So they said I couldn't, that's a major. Uh, Do you reckon so, just pulling out and not, yeah, yeah. not giving anyone any indication yeah, yeah. that I'm pulling? That's, Lads, I'm just pulling out. Yeah. You can't just wind down the window and put your arm out. I know. Like a cyclist. I know. And then the other time was the second fail was um, I pulled. That was meant to do a manoeuvre and I literally went fully up the kerb. Oh, so you curbed it? Yeah. Completely. Did you wreck the yellows? I think it pro probably did, yeah. So that was two fails. Two third fails. time. And then third, third time, time lucky. Third time lucky. Or maybe oh. they just got bored of having you in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which three teammates would you take on a road trip with you? Ooh. For good and bad reasons. I mean, obviously, there's some teammates that I had back in the day that annoyed me, but I was very close with them. Yeah, I'd love to say Alex Scott and Antoine, but... You need, you need people and personalities who are going to bring different things. You need a bit of... If it's a long road trip, there's going to be times where you're tired. I know. And you need people to lift you up. 100%. You need someone for a good a good conversation yeah. with sort to yeah. pass the time. Yeah. Maybe not make you laugh, but then I think on the other hand, yeah. you need somebody who can bring the 100%. fun and the laughter when everyone's been there. So you got to think about this a little bit. So I'd probably go with the two that I'd... Or the two that I'd say 100%. Adam Smith and Ryan Fredericks. You would? I would have, or, I would take. You would take, and yeah. what would they bring? What what characteristics? To be fair, they're up there with uh, two of the funniest people that I've met, you know. Are they not too similar in they the are. though? They because are, that's why I've left the third space open, because it needs to be someone with a different a different character. Yeah, a different mindset. It's different going to bring some, something different to, mm. the, to the party. That person would probably be uh, Lewis Cook. Oh, so not someone like Tabs then? Because I see you with Tabs all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Having a bit of a it could have been Tabs, Antoine, and Alex would probably be my my three if I don't know if it was a if I was going on a trip for like a day or something like that. But if I was going on a long road trip, well, you need people need, to bring something yeah, else yeah, to the party. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. And they've they've all they've all got a experience and age. So what would Cookie bring? What would Lewis Cook oh, bring? Ah, just a bit. I think he's a. Uh, where the other two are a bit more, you know, they'll, they'll laugh at joke. I think Lou can do that, but he's also got another side. So when you need a bit of stability in that road trip, 100%. And someone who's going to make you focus a little bit more, that be a Lou. bit sensible, yeah. let you know what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, yeah. you got Lewis Cook. That is it. So it's a good three. So we've got Lewis Cook, Adam Smith, Smudge, Smudge Adam yeah. Smith, and Ryan Fredericks. Ryan Fredericks. Yeah. They're your three. Yeah. Which teammate would you not want to be stuck in traffic with? Fletch, I think you could tell me. You you know in your head who I'm going well, to say. Well, I here. know the eccentric characters who, let's say they come in full, the batteries are full, and they drain them within half an hour because they have that much energy and they're just like a whirlwind. And you've got and there's you. one outstanding. There's one that, that <laughs> sticks out like a sore thumb, isn't there? Does it rhyme with Milo? <laughs> Does it rhyme with KK? Yeah, I don't even need to say anymore. That Me is the one man I would not want to be stuck. He's funny, Milo. He's funny. It? Oh, great guy. 
he's, he's in his own way, but he comes in, he's like a, what I call, I don't know if you've ever seen the advert back in the way, like a Duracell. Duracell bunny, I was just going to say that. His batteries are full yep. and he'll drain them as quick yep. as he can, yep. but he keeps going and going and going and yep. going yep. until he passes out. 100%. It's two it, hours of Milos Kekas. Oh, fuck. Honestly, Fletch, I could not do it. I couldn't do it. If you could have one person with you in the seat next to you, who would it be? Apart from me, obviously. Oh, yeah, apart from obviously. me. Obviously. Yeah. Um, one person in the I'll seat next to me. I'll tell you what we'll me. do. We'll flip that question a little bit. So we've done the players. Yeah. Any one of our staff. Oh, I want to up. pick the manager. No, no. He's picking the team. He can't, he can't just say the manager. Just so. No, 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 I'm not. So when he looks at it, he'll go, oh, thank you, I'm thank not. you, Max. Don't worry, I'm not. I, will, I don't know if he's part of the coaching staff, technically, but I'm going to go with Charlie Moore. Charlie Moore? That is my guy. Our conditioning coach. Unfortunately, and I say this unfortunately, not in any disrespect to Chaz, but I've probably spent a little bit more time with him than I really wanted this season. Yeah, you've had a couple of injuries, haven't you? So, so and I've had, uh, obviously, those two hamstring injuries, and um, within that time, you obviously then spend a lot more time with the conditioning yeah, and the physio stuff. away from yeah. the players, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And I was working a lot with Chaz in terms of on my recovery, and he's got me back in, in great condition and great shape now. And um, I built up a really good relationship with him. So probably out of the kind of coaching staff in, in that sense, I would I would say him. We get on really, really well. And But I am going to ask, if you were in the car, for this round trip, what we're doing now, one hour round trip with the manager, yeah. Andoni Eraola. What's the first question you would ask him? If both me, myself and Adam Smith were fit, who, <laughs> yeah. who would you who start? Do you, yeah, who, which, who do you prefer? Um, no, a serious question, would you, what would you ask him? Quite a boring answer to what you're, you're saying, but I think any player would want to know, um, you know, from their manager or from their coaches is, where could you, where could, where can I improve or like take my game to a, yeah. the next level? And I, it's quite, a, it's obviously a serious question. It's something that I think any player w would want to know. That one too bad. Ah, sweet. That's no. good.